I'm Dusty at Northern Pizza Equipment. I'm here to help you figure out why your conveyor is not running. So first what we're gonna do, we're just gonna turn on the conveyor. Your conveyor is lighting up so you have good power to your conveyor. But it seems to me that your conveyor belt is not running. So first we're gonna do, we're gonna go check the conveyor motor and the shaft adapter. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the conveyor motor cover. There's a little thumb screw right here. Just unscrew, it's the only thing that holds it on. And we place this out of the way. Usually one of these two things are the reason your conveyor belt isn't turning. One, check to see if the chain is loose. The end piece of the shaft is broken and needs to be replaced. If so, click on this link and see how to replace this end piece. Otherwise, the set screws are probably loose. The chain is moving, but the conveyor belt is not moving. Continue watching to see how to fix it. And luckily for us this time, looks like just the, the set screws have came loose from the shaft adapter sprocket. So we'll need an eighth inch Allen wrench just to get those tightened back up. So now that we had turned the conveyor off, because you do not want to operate this while the conveyor is on, see that there's two set screws. You want to make sure one lines up in the groove of the shaft adapter, which is right here. We have our eighth inch Allen wrench. As you can see, this is definitely loose. We need to make sure that this chain is lined up with the motor sprocket. So you want it to be straight. If it's crooked, it'll cause your sprockets to wear out extremely fast. So then we just have our eighth inch Allen. I'll make sure it's nice and tight. There's two set screws, so you want to make sure we get both of them. Make sure we get that one nice and tight. Make sure this one's nice and tight. It's nice and tight. Now we're going to turn the conveyor back on and uh, see if that fixes the problem. Okay, so we're going to turn our conveyor back on. Switch is working. There's power on. We got power to the motor. And now we just see if the conveyor turns. All right, and now the conveyor seems to be working. All this is nice and tight. As you can see, our conveyor chain is nice and straight. You can use the extension to see that it's perfectly all the way down the same width. Your sprocket should have a long lasting life. Everything looks good. This just slides on, catches a little tab. Up there, slides right on. Resting perfectly on that tab, you can slide this back and forth. Make sure it's not rubbing on your shaft adapter or your sprocket, which it seems to be perfect. Make sure it's not rubbing on any of your chains or anything. Looks good. We just tighten this thumb screw up in the back, and you're good to go. We're going to check and see if the uh, conveyor turns on. We're going to turn this on. Power came back on. Now we just wait to see if the conveyor turns. And the conveyor seems to be turning. Ready to go back into business. We carry all makes and models of parts for pizza ovens. Um, we have a full line of tech support service. Um, we stock all these parts in stock. Most of them go out same day shipping. Saves you time, saves you money. We're here to help.